everybody, it's Stephanie here, um, coming to you today in the part one of the Empowered video series. And in today's video, I will be speaking about meditation. I started meditating about 20 years ago when I was looking for another way to manage my energy. So the energy of life, of stress, of anxiety, um, the inability to focus, um, the desire to quiet some of the mental noise, as well as the noise of the world. Um, and over the years, it has given me so many gifts, which is why I really feel it is the foundation um, for a life of joy and for a life of awareness. In my experience of teaching and practicing meditation, I have found that there's often misconceptions or myths about what it is and what it isn't. So I'd like to address three of those myths right now um, the first one is that it's people tend to think that it is about not having thoughts. And in my experience, that is impossible. Because as long as we're alive, we will have thoughts. In practice, um, meditation teaches us to create space between the thoughts. So while we are sitting and breathing in our meditation practice, we notice the thought and then we bring our awareness back to whatever it is that we're focusing on. So in some cases, it's our breath, sometimes it's a word, sometimes it's counting. There's many tools and techniques to use to focus the mind. One of the simplest ones is focusing on the breath. So literally noticing when you catch yourself wandering, when the mind starts to wander with thought, with emotion, you bring your attention back to your breath. So it's not about not having thoughts. And the reason why I like to share that is because I want to be realistic with people. And as someone who is creative and um, who, is, who loves to write, there are many times where I have thoughts that come through my meditation practice or wisdom that is very helpful to me. So I often will keep um, a notebook nearby so when I'm done with my meditation session, I can jot down what's um, important to me. So the first myth is that it's not about not having thoughts. It's more about putting the space between the thoughts so that when we're off the meditation cushion per se and we're in life, that we're able to notice when we get lost in the thoughts. And when we're in a conversation or when we're having a challenging experience that we don't get lost there, that we can continue to come back to the present moment. The second myth that I often hear about is that it's always blissful. <laughs> that it's always peaceful. And after almost 20 years of practice, that's not the case. So instead of having showing up to my meditation practice with an expectation that it has to be this or that, I simply show up. I simply show up and whatever comes through, I trust that it's meant to come through. And I also experience that if it comes up in my meditation practice, then it's not going to wake me up in the middle of the night. So it's an opportunity to give myself um, the space to process what maybe has been left over from the day or sometimes it's things that have happened a long time ago. So the second myth is that it's always potentially blissful. So being able to accept what comes up is part of it. And then the third is that there's this idea that there's a right way to do it. Many people tell me they don't get started or they started and they stop because they're doing it wrong. And my response to that is the only way to do it wrong is to not do it. So the key with a successful meditation practice is to do it every day without question. And if you're new to the practice, starting with a 30 day plan every day, even if it's two minutes and working your way up to five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe eventually 20 minutes, I do 20 minutes every day. So setting a timer on the phone, putting earplugs in, listening to gentle music, whatever you need to do and wherever you need to go, the key is to be consistent and to give yourself at least 30 days to be in the experience. Setting a timer and starting with the simple mantra of noticing the breath. So when the mind starts to wander, you think of the thoughts as clouds passing overhead and you come back to the breath. Practice it, play with it, non-attachment to it. And as you continue to deepen your practice, you can start to play with different breathing techniques. 
So that's all for today. Enjoy the meditation, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.